Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I'm here with the Dexabel Vivo S7. Now I could be here with any other Dexabel product, and it would be the same kind of thing because there is a new operating system that Dexabel released, and it is OS version 4.0, better known by its name Aqua Viva. And that is a really cool operating system because of the quad core processor that's built into here, which is super fast. It's able to run this new operating system because it can do what has not been done before. And in order to demonstrate, I have a Casio CGP 700 here. And I chose this one uh, intentionally because if you want to use MIDI and hook this up to your computer, you have a USB MIDI port, and the only thing a USB MIDI port is good for on a piano that does not have the standard legacy 5-pin DIN MIDI jacks is to hook this up to your computer. It cannot communicate MIDI any other way except hooking it up to your computer. So if you wanted to hook this up to another MIDI device, you could not do so because it didn't have the five pin dins. There is a way to do it. You can spend $150 on a product like the uh, Kenton MIDI USB host. That's a lot of money. So what this new operating system does is it gives the capability of taking the MIDI from here via USB and hooking it into here without using a computer. You couldn't do that in the past with any other keyboard. Well, that's really a, a feat, an accomplishment. So let me demonstrate. Here is the uh, Dexabel Vivo S7 by itself. <laughs> the Casio by itself. Okay, so we've got two different keyboards here. They're not communicating with each other because they're not hooked up. And like I said in the past, you would need a MIDI cable, a standard legacy five pin DIN MIDI cable. It's got five pins in each of these that you would hook up to the MIDI out here into the MIDI in of another keyboard that you wanted to control or another MIDI device. And you need another one if you want that device to communicate back to you. You would take that device's MIDI out and hook it up to this MIDI in. And a lot of manufacturers, at least in their lower price models, do not include legacy MIDI. They include MIDI over USB, requiring you to go to a computer. So what to do? If you want to take something like this Casio CGP700 and control another MIDI device like this Dexabel, now you can do it with the new Aquaviva operating system that they came up with. All you need to do is hook up a MIDI cable you would typically plug this into the USB output that's provided here, and it's usually labeled to host, meaning a computer, and take the other end and hook this to a computer. This time, I'm gonna hook it up to the Dexabel. So, give me a second, I'm gonna get this hooked up. Okay, now it's hooked up. Now let me demonstrate. I am going to turn down the volume on each one of these keyboards so nothing sounds on either one of these. Now I'm going to use this keyboard to control the Casio by raising the volume of the Casio. How cool is that? Now I'm gonna turn down the volume on the Casio so you don't hear anything on either board and I'm gonna turn up the volume on the Dexabel. So it's two-way communication. 
And you can turn that on or off with either keyboard settings where you can have this transmit to the Casio and not have the Casio transmit back or vice versa. Or the way it is right now, each one of these has transmit and received enabled. So if I turn up the volume on each one, no matter which board I play, I'm playing both boards at the same time. So you're hearing both because I have the volumes turned up on both. Now, how cool is that? Can you do that with any other keyboard that has just USB over MIDI and no legacy MIDI jacks? No. All right, so there's other things that you can do using this method. Um, obviously, you can talk to another MIDI device, but you cannot daisy chain them. The only way you're going to do that is with the standard MIDI stuff. But since I've got these two communicating, and since I have legacy MIDI jacks here, I can take that and daisy chain that to another keyboard and set the channel for that, whatever. Okay? So that's really cool. Now, in the past, if you wanted to record audio and MIDI at the same time on your computer, what you needed to do is take the left and right audio outs, go through an audio interface which connects via USB to your computer, and take the MIDI, which is usually MIDI over USB, and hook that also into your computer. So now you've got three different cables left and right audio and your MIDI over USB. With the Aquaviva system, all you need is a USB cable and now you're transmitting not just MIDI in and out, you are transmitting audio as well at 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. So if you're using an OS X system or if you're using a Linux system, you'll be able to do that. <laughs> so cool. Now there's more to this version, this release called Aquaviva. Inside all of these Dexabel products, there's three gigabytes of memory built in. 1.4 gigabytes is built for internal sounds. So all the sounds that are built into your device, they're already there. 100 megabytes of that is user data, so you can do your own thing. But there's an additional one and a half gigabytes of more user data. So you got a total of three gigabytes of memory built into each. So what you have is you can add sounds to this from the Dexabel website or from SoundFont 2 files, which are readily available on the internet. And basically, you're not gonna lose the factory settings you're going to add to it any one and a half gigabytes at a time and use that. And it's so cool. What a feature to have. More, if you're using another controller to control this, you can not only control this, but you can set the velocity settings as well. And you can add some DSP effects too, like compression and cutoff. So this is really getting powerful. This has not been done before. The only other keyboard that you could take MIDI output with USB and hook it up to is a Korg Kronos. And you're going to spend five grand on that because that's a workstation and it is a computer. The computer is built into that. With the exception of that, you're going to need a regular computer unless you have the Dexabel, Vivo, whatever Dexabel, all the products are capable of doing the same thing. So that is extremely cool. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. You want to go to the Dexabel.com site for more information. And wow, I'm, I'm getting more and more impressed with what Dexabel has done. And for those who are unfamiliar with Dexabel, since they just started coming to North America in 2017. Um, I've done a video on it, but in a nutshell, basically when Roland Italy shut down, you had the best of the best of Roland at Roland Italy, and they all got together 
and formed a new company, Dexabel, under a new parent company, Prol, who's been in business for like 25 years. So this is all developed by former Roland cream of the crop employees there. So you might want to check out some of my other videos on Dexabel and you'll find out how they do that. But in the meantime, just wanted to let you know about this. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.